What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to create symbol legends in Revit 2024 for structural design. So let's create a legend. To create a legend from the project browser, look for legends. So just right click legend and then select new legend. So another way to create legend is by going to the view tab and then selecting the legends there from the create panel so you can see the legend you can click legend so you have two options to create your legend so just click that one and then you need to specify what's the name of the legend so let's say I'm gonna call this symbol symbol legend alright and then you have an option here if you want to change the scale and then after that just select OK right so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the title okay so let's put the title so I'm going to select the text tool and then I'm going to select one fourth inch Arial so let's click that one and then I'll just make sure no leader is selected and then I'll put here so I'm gonna call this symbol legend Okay, so now the next thing that we will be doing is we are going to insert the symbols that we want to be placed on our legend. So to do that, so let's go to the annotate tab and then look for symbol and then click symbol here. And then let's say I'm looking for a section. So section head filled. Okay, so I'm going to select that one and then I'm going to place it here. Okay, and then from the type selector, I'm going to looking for uh, span direction, uh, one way slab, half an inch. All right, and then I'm going to place it here. And then I also want to add here a rebar tag type. Alright, and then after that, so I want a weld symbol. So weld symbol, I'm going to select your spacer. And then another uh, weld symbol, I'm going to select both. And another weld symbol, I'm going to use seal melt true. Okay. So basically, what makes this creation of a uh, symbol easy is that the symbols that I needed for this project is already loaded in this project. So in case the symbol is not yet loaded in your project, so all you have to do is to uh, select symbol and then just select your load family. Okay, so just click load family and then locate the symbol that you would like to be loaded in your project all right now the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to add a text here so yeah in revit it's really manual so when you create a legend it's really manual so these are just 2d drawings okay so these are just 2d drawings and it's really uh hard labor okay because you need to do it manually inserting all the legends symbol that you would like to be added in your project now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to add the text so I'm gonna select the text tool okay for this one I'll use 1 8 of an inch so let's click that and then I'm gonna put it here there you go and then for this one I'm gonna call this a uh, level marker level name elevation okay and then I'll just click outside okay and then I'm just gonna select here modify to terminate the text tool and then I'll just copy this so select that and then copy and then I'm gonna make sure multiple is selected and then constraint is checked so that the movement is constrained so I'll just put there put there there and here okay so let's edit the text so just double click the text and then let's edit this one so this is span direction fixed uh, one half inch 
Okay, and then this one here, uh, rebar tag, tag number. Then this one here, this is my weld symbol spacer. Then this is uh, weld symbol. And then the last one is weld symbol melt true okay so if you want you can also add some uh, boundaries here like you can put a uh, detail line so from the annotate tab so i'm gonna select your detail line and then from the line style i'll be selecting here wide lines click that and then i'll be using a rectangle tool and then i'm gonna box my legend symbol okay so you can click the line and then you can use the arrow on your keyboard to uh, move it okay all right so that's my that's my uh, wide line text so if you are going to turn off the thin lines you'll be able to see there the line weight of a wide line so next one is I'm going to just put it somewhere at this, at the middle and then I'll create another detail line here so this time I'm gonna use a uh, middle uh, medium lines let's click that one and then I'll just pick one here there you go and then I'll just pick one here okay and then let me just put here put one here okay there you go and there you go so let's just tidy up this so maybe I'm gonna move it up a little you can drag that let's tidy up our schedule or the legend okay All right. Okay, so let's say for example, I'm now done with my symbol legend. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to insert this inside the sheet. So from the sheets here on the project browser, I'm going to open my plans and elevations. So double click that and then this is where I want to place my legend symbol. Okay, so to do that, so let's look for the legend symbol, drag and drop. So drag and drop inside and there you have it all right so there you go so that's how you create your legend okay and so in this exercise we just learn how to create a symbol legend okay so that's it for this simple exercise thank you for watching have a nice day